If you really want to make great French toast, you do the usual things like find awesome bread, make your standard custard dip that everybody makes. But if you really want to level it up, you start with the best strawberries you've ever had in your life and you top that off with incredible vanilla honey whipped butter, which is what we're going to do today. Now let's go! Okay, we're just going to take a pound of washed strawberries here and these will make the best strawberries of your life, trust me. And so what we need to do with these is just haul them, which means we just need to take out the core and a really great way to do this is to choke up on the tip of of a knife like this, be careful when you do this. And then when you're holding the knife like that, you just pop in and twist. And you'll get that little hole out in one nice little piece. And I find doing it this way just takes away way less of the strawberry, leaving you with more food to enjoy, which is always a good thing. It's not waste food. Now these strawberries are a little small and that is exactly what I wanted. Because we're gonna leave them whole, except if you have some that are big like this. All we need to do with that one is just slice it in half. Maybe I'll do one more big one. And the rest are all this size, which are perfect for this preparation. Now, this is as simple as dropping them all into a baking dish and sprinkling on some sugar. And I'll just go ahead and give those a little bit of a mix so those berries are really coated and they'll pick up all that sugar. And we're gonna bake these in a 300 degree oven. Celsius is right there. And every 20, 30 minutes, we'll get in there and toss them. And by the time these are done, you are gonna understand why we did this. Freaking incredible. In they go. Okay, so after 25 minutes, I pulled them out and you can already see the juice is flowing. And so all we wanna do now is just toss these. This is the move. Be gentle, you don't wanna break them. Turn them over so they stay coated in that juice and now return to the oven. All right, here they are after two and a half hours. And as you can see, they just formed this thick syrup in combination with that little bit of sugar. This is like concentrated strawberry heaven. And if you want, when you do these, you have a lot of strawberries, do a whole bunch and then just jar it up. Keep it in your fridge, use it like jam. It is incredible. Tip that out into a container and let's continue on. Okay, we're gonna make a little whipped butter. Now you can obviously just use regular unsalted butter on top of your French toast. There's nothing wrong with that. Still absolutely delicious. But my channel brings professional tips that I've learned in restaurants to you, the home cook. So you're gonna learn today how to make whipped butter because it is one of the best things you can have on French toast. Trust me, it just is. And it's not that hard, let's make it. This is a KitchenAid situation and we just drop in our butter. That's just unsalted room temperature butter. And for whipped butter, you want this paddle here and some honey. This is gonna be honey whipped butter. We're gonna add a little bit of vanilla and sea salt. Use whatever kind of honey you like. This is actually an almond honey from some monks in a redwood forest in Northern California. So that's pretty cool. I'm assuming they blessed it. I mean, what kind of monks would they be if they're not blessing their honey? There'd be some bunk monks, dude. And I'm putting vanilla bean in here. You can put vanilla extract. I will put a recipe for both in the description. But hey, I have these. And by the way, if you're buying that little scraggly, scrawny, dried up jar from the supermarket of vanilla beans, that little vanilla bean that looks like it's served in both world wars, stop doing that and buy them online because I got this whole thing. I've already used a few from this pack as well. And this whole thing was like 15 bucks. It's like a buck a bean. I've seen them in the supermarket for $15 for one sick little bean. And I just take a little knife here and from the top, I try to score just through one layer of the skin. I'll explain more on that in a second. I'm trying not to cut it in half, although sometimes it happens. There we are, we're through. Now we just take a little teaspoon here and I just try to open that up a little bit first and then I'll scrape down just like this, try to get it in one. Boom, and then we don't have to cut the whole thing in half, right? We get it all out like that. And these scraped pods, I save these all. We'll do another video where we make vanilla sugar or vanilla extract with it. And now we just drop this down and get to whipping. About medium high speed here. And what you just saw there with the blowtorch is a way I get the butter to fall back in without having to open it up and scrape it down. I'll show you how that works. You just blowtorch the outside and it'll just fall back in like that. Now at the end here, I'm just gonna put a little pinch of flaky sea salt and just work that in. And that's done, just about two minutes of whipping. And now you have that incredible light whipped butter complete with those vanilla beans. Oh my God, it was so good. And now what we can do here is take a piping bag. Again, this is extra, you do not need to do it, but these look incredible. And we'll just take our whipped butter and just drop it in. Now just a sheet pan with some parchment paper. And now we can take our butter here and just make these beautiful little shapes like so. Almost looks like a little Hershey's Kiss. I like that little tip on it, so fun. Then I'll just pop these in the fridge for about 10 minutes to chill. And then you can just pop them in a Tupperware container, keep them in your fridge, they'll hold that shape. And you pull them out of the fridge 10 to 15 minutes before serving and pop them right on that hot French toast, incredible. Now for your simple custard batter, we'll do four eggs. 
quarter cup of milk and a quarter cup of cream, teaspoon of cinnamon and a half teaspoon of nutmeg, one, two teaspoons of sugar and a nice big pinch of salt. Simple as that, now just whisk it all up. You can also put vanilla extract in here if you want, but since I have it in my butter, I'm happy with that. The butter is loaded with vanilla. Just give that a good whisk like so, 30 seconds and it's all good. Oh, it smells so good. The next big French toast question is, what kind of bread should you use? Honestly, it's kind of hard to find a bad bread to use with French toast. I mean, you don't want to use like jalapeno cheddar or like some kind of really heavy sourdough bread, obviously, but I'll show you what I use. So my go-to is challah bread, this braided sweet bread, incredible for French toast. Brioche would also be amazing. Today, just for comparison, I've never actually tried this, but croissant toast. You just hear croissant toast and you know it's gonna be good, right? Certain things you don't need to think about in life. Croissant toast for French toast, th that's one of them. You don't need to think about that, that's gonna work. So we'll do both as a test and I'll tell you which one I think is better. Another thing is don't make scrawny little slices, right? I'll save this end piece for something. I'm talking like bam, right? That's like inch and a half. We want nice, thick pieces. Now I would remix this little batter right before you dunk your bread because all those spices tend to float to the top. And the next big question is how long should you leave your bread in here? I'm not for the quick dip and get it out, but I'm not for leaving it in too long either. I'm talking about 20 seconds per side is about what I like to do. A little swimmy swimmy. And then here's another thing I do that I do not see a lot of people teaching is get your bread out and just let it sit on a plate for like five minutes because all that batter is still soaking in, penetrating deep into the middle of the bread. We don't want it too soggy and we don't want it too dry. The Goldilocks theory, the middle way in life. It is the best way. And as advertised here, we're gonna try out the croissant toast. Cannot be bad, just exact same deal, although this is cut a little thinner, so I might just do 15 seconds per side. Same deal, we'll just leave it on a plate here. Now we'll cook this about medium heat, and I like to add a little bit of oil as well as butter. Just helps the butter not to burn. That's just neutral oil, avocado oil. You can do whatever kind of oil you want, although I don't recommend vegetable oil. I just don't want that in your body. Butter down, and when that butter is just about melted, drop in our bread, and you can kind of just move it around carefully a little bit. It's gonna help the butter not to burn as well. And if the butter browns a little bit here, that's good. Brown butter, that flavor adds a nutty, delicious aroma to the French toast, and we want it. But we don't want it to be black, not burned, right? So just about two and a half minutes here, we flip. We have this nice, beautiful golden brown crust. That is exactly what we're after. Again, roll it around a little bit on this side. Can only do a lot of good. Okay, another two and a half minutes on that side. We're ready to plate. I'm gonna first hit it with a little bit of powdered sugar. I always like a nice little dusting of powdered sugar, followed quickly by a nice dollop of those incredible roasted strawberries that are really gonna make this French toast special. Some of our top tier whipped honey vanilla butter right in the middle of those strawberries. Finish with some warm maple syrup and happy days, my friends. I don't think I've ever been more more excited to try something. When, why, why do I have a spoon? Oh gosh, you know, I, I just quit drinking coffee and I'll tell you what, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the withdrawals. I, I can't even think today, but we did it. Oh my gosh. And with bites like that, I think we did pretty good. Dude, dude, it's like I'm talking to my friend and I just found something really interesting. Dude, because that's what it's like. Holy Lord, my friends, this is insane. This is absolutely worthy of the new nunchucks on the fridge. Of course, we're gonna taste that croissant toast as well. Croissant French toast. Honestly, on first impressions, that's even better than the Hala. I think that's better. I really, really do. Well, I've watched a few Bruce Lee movies. How hard could it be? Until next time, my sweet friends, you know I love you and I'm out.